Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a LEGO Eternals news update. I contemplated doing this video or not, but there's been some developments I'd say with what happened yesterday, and I just thought that I'd talk about them. So, uh, today I actually got sent pictures by LEGO Builds underscore, I will link him down below in the description if you want to check him out over on Instagram. He actually got the magazine, you can see the cover here on screen now. And he actually lives in Ontario. Now, Ontario is a big place, but uh, specifically, that's the province that I live in. So I'm hoping that I get this thing soon. But anyways, on the cover, it does say that this is the January 2021 catalog, and that has over 75 brand new sets. And I know that Justin and a lot of other people were confused by the prices. And the prices are in Canadian, so that's why they're a little more than some of you were expecting. Um, but they look great. So we got better pictures of the sets, but specifically, I just want to talk about the two that we couldn't see um, because of the glares and just uh, not being very clear so let's talk about the main one and that is the interior of the ship so this is the rise of the domo and this thing looks really neat I, I really do love uh, just the shape of this all as well as we have a brand new picture of the interior and it looks so cool it's so detailed there's so many rooms here with all those little circles actually lifting up we got walls opening and closing a spot to hold like that staff as well as a gauntlet that weird tube thing as well like what is going on there with the rings that looks so interesting a lantern as well you got the cockpit there in this in the front where uh the where you could actually sit a figure which is neat there's also like a bedroom i think in the back left and i'm not sure what's in the back right but i'm excited to see what's on the right side of the ship i'm excited to see official pictures hopefully soon if this has come out um but that looks really neat for for a set like that for having so many figures and then on top of that you're getting two deviants and it's just really really cool we have oh i'm reading the description which i should have done yesterday but uh, it wasn't very clear but the leader of the deviants arrived so that's neat so i was right about uh, that uh, big figure there that's pretty interesting um looking groot-esque <laughs> uh figure but look at that one two three four five six minifigures two deviants and that really cool looking ship i love that that's really great for 119 89.99 usd i think that's a very solid set and then the other one, just in case uh, you want to see it, just because it was really blurry, uh, we do have a, a better look at the Deviant Ambush, and the figures here look so cool. There's a bit of a glare, and you couldn't really see some of the details, and that hairpiece there is actually coming in tan for the first time, so that's pretty neat, um, as well as that, that hairpiece on that other figure looks so cool. The very first uh, deaf character in the MCU, very awesome. Um, I, I'm really loving these sets, and I'll, I'll show you the other ones if you want. Um, on screen now a little better clear pictures I do just want to make note of the fact that these figures are so detailed the brand new torso printings the leg printings the leg printings isn't something that happens for Marvel very often so this is really rare and really awesome as well as I'm not too upset about the faces being reused because I think that they all seem to work for the most part again we haven't seen really much of this movie anyways but I don't really care if it means that we're getting such detailed figures. I don't mind the reuses of faces, if they work, of course. But uh, anyways, everyone, what do you think of these? I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you think these are coming out January? I don't think so. I just think this was a very, very, very big mistake. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on other LEGO Marvel Super Heroes news and reviews. And at the end here, I actually have a playlist linked if you want to check out all of the 2021 sets that we know for sure that are actually going to be launching on January 1st. A review of all of them. And also, I have that video linked here at the end if you want to check it out from yesterday. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.